Hello folks, today uh, I am dealing with uh, our paper 5, one of the paper 5, so I gave this question to uh, some exams in a certain college and uh, this is a mark scheme for them and uh, also a video for YouTube as well. So this belongs to 2008, October, November, paper 5, 3 and the question number is 9. Sorry, question number is 2 actually. So it is number 9 in the test, uh, but uh, in the exam it's always number, always uh, number 2. So it says that student is investigating the electric potential near a charged metal sphere. So this is the charged metal sphere. And uh, the sphere is in suspended from the ceiling, from the ceiling. A flame probe is used to measure flame probe, the potential V at a distance L from the surface of the sphere. The experiment is repeated for different distances from the sphere, so distance is varied. It is said that V and L are related by the equation V equal to Q by 4 by epsilon naught L plus A, <coughs> where Q is the charge on the sphere, A is the radius, so here radius is a small a, and epsilon naught is the permeability of free space or vacuum, let us say. The question number uh, A says, a graph is plotted of 1 by V on the y axis against L on the x axis, derive expressions for the <coughs> gradient and the y intercept. So the expression for the uh, potential is somewhat like this. So I have uh, taken the reciprocal, so 1 by V, it becomes 1 by V, and it reverses, reverse like this. So I then split this thing, this thing, uh, so it becomes uh, 4 by epsilon naught by QL plus uh, 4 by epsilon naught A by Q. So L is in the x-axis, so I separate L here. So L represents x, 1 by V represents y. So this thing should represent the slope gradient, and this thing should represent the uh, y intercept so the gradient will be equal to 4 pi epsilon naught by q here and the intercept should be equal to the whole thing here 4 pi epsilon naught a by q so then <coughs> in the next page we have we have as usual we have the uh, table form here so uh, <coughs> values of l and uh, v are given in figure 2.2 so we have got six sets of data first one is l then uh, v in the form of kilovolt. Now uh, the question says calculate and record values of 1 by V in the form of 10 to the power minus 3 per volt in figure 2.2. So we have to record 1 by V in the form of uh, <coughs> uh, 10 to the power minus 3 per volt in, in this figure. So let's do it. So let's do it in rough actually uh, because I, uh, I have the let me answer here. So let me do it for the very, uh, very first. Then we can have idea about uh, others as well. So first is uh, we have uh, V in the form of uh, kilovolt. So uh, one by V should be equal to one by V should be equal to uh, one by one point two five into ten to the power uh, three volts. So it's kilovolt here. So this becomes this becomes one point two five exponent three and the reciprocal equal to so it is uh, it is equal to 8 into 10 to the power minus 3 minus 4 minus 4 uh, minus 4 per volt per volt so we have to express this in terms of 10 to the power minus 3 so it's equal to 3 equal to which be equal to 0 0.88 so equal to 0 0.8 into 10 to the power minus 3 per volt per volt so the value should be this. Now we need to find the uncertainty here. So this is given by the equation here. Delta of 1 by V by 1 by V should be equal to delta V by V. This is the theory of error. So we'll have delta of 1 by V is equal to delta V by V into 1 by V equal to delta V by V square. So the way of finding error or uncertainty is somewhat like this. So let's do it here. Let's do it. So delta V is this much. So this is delta V and is the form of a kilovolt here. So I'll do it like this. So I have 0 0.05, 0 0.05. So let me do it for the first one. So uh, I have got delta of 1 by V will be equal to, equal to delta V is 0 0.05 into 10 to the power 3 divided. 0 0.05 into 10 to the power 3 divided. The value of V is 1.25 into 10 to the power 3 
then whole squared whole squared so its value will be equal to uh, exponent 3 divided 1.25 exponent 3 and squared equal to somewhat like this it's equal to equal equal to 3.2 into 10 to the power minus 5 now I have to express this thing into with uh, uh, in the form of 10 to the power minus 3 per volt so it's equal to into 1 exponent 3 is equal to so it's equal to 0 0.032 into 10 to the power minus 3 so my expression will be equal to one is this and the other is this so I have got first I'll write the answer it is plus minus 0 0.032 into 10 to the power minus 3 so then I have to write this as so first it is 0 0.8 0 0.8 so my uh, error or also it starts from the second digit after decimal so I have to use one more digit here so it should be 0 since there's nothing it should be 0 so it is 0 0.80 plus minus 0 0.032 and uh, uh, one thing one easy way to, how we can do this here is equal to uh, since we have got to uh, uh, it in terms of 10 to the power minus 3 here is 10 to the power 3 and 10 to the power minus 3 so we don't need to do this thing so simply simple approach here is simple approach here is uh, 1.25 reciprocal is 0 0.8 0 0.8 here 80 and in, in terms of error it's equal to 0 0.05 uh, divided 1.25 square equal to 0 0.032 so just in this form so we have got uh, we have got 10 power 3 here 10 power 3 square here so it's directly equal to 10 power minus 3 so this gives 10 power minus 3 so that's why only what we do is we need to do this thing this thing only this squared this single power the 10 power minus 3 is easily you know, is already there so we can just do this so the technique will be delta 1 by v equal to 0 0.05 by 1.25 whole square into 10 to the power minus 3 so this is the heading given here so we just have to do this and when I do this the values I get is somewhat like this so this time uh, the answer it is do not gradually increase or decrease so it's uh, increase here decrease here increase here decrease here and again increase here it's because of the fact that here we have got the uh, same error in two uh, different here same in these two same these two so only we have three sets of uncertainties in the uh, voltage now uh, with that now the next number is uh, plot a graph of 1 by v uh, in the terms of 10 minus 3 volts so this quantity here this quantity here against l so this here so i have plotted the uh, graphs so the graphing went to very very smoothly very very smoothly so let me search for the graph here so it went very smooth uh, and every points were exactly uh, traced so somewhere some in the middle so this is in the middle of the square middle of the square on the line itself middle of the square and so on so i drew uh, error bars as well so in terms of error bars let me uh, calculate for the uh, very first here very first so let us see or very last I should say because the last one is the larger one so this is a 0 0.056 so what we have here is in the y-axis I have I have uh, in the y-axis I have I have got so from here to here the variation is 0 0.1 so 0 0.1 is equal to 10 divisions 10 divisions 1 equal this much and uh, and I will have 0 0.056 will be somewhat like this so this is uh, this is 10 divided 0 0.01 equal to into 0 0.056 0 0.056 equal to equal to uh, let me do it again 0 0.056 uh, so let me do it again uh, so 10 uh, divided 0 0.1 equal to into 0 0.056 so this is 5.6 so I have got 5.6 divisions up 5 divisions down so I cannot uh, do 0.6 divisions so it is 0.5 up and 0.5 down so I've approximated uh, all of them to whole, div whole number or 0.5 division so it went uh, very smoothly it went very smooth 
so now after that uh, what i have is my data my data my data, uh, yeah so then i have to draw uh draw the straight line of base fit of a base fit i did i did and the worst is will straight line in in on your graph so the worst line is somewhat like this the worst line is so slight, slightly we have to we have to make some sort of slight uh, arrangement here for the uh, worst line for the worst line so let me show show that the worst line here uh, let me show the graph uh, i misplaced the graph i suppose let me show 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 the graph yeah so yes so what happens is if i uh, had i taken i did it in, in, in from the scale had i taken this and this this and this this like this error bar did not cross through that did not cross through the worst fit so i use this and this and if i do this uh, this crosses it this crosses it crosses crosses and crosses so that's why uh, joining this and this will not be correct because it skips this so i have to do this so we have to take care of, of uh, whether it crosses all those things so i drew the worst fit line now in the next question i have got to uh, determine the gradient of the line of base fit so for that i selected uh, the points there so the points will be so this is these are the points this is the point of the worst fit uh x2 y2 for worst fit x2 y2 for best fit and here it will be uh x1 y1 for the best fit and uh, x2, x1 y1 for the worst fit so with that i found the I found the slope and uh, I took care that I do not forget the set and power minus 3 in the y axis. So many students tend to forget that and uh, ask me for some mercy uh, when I check the copies. And of course, uh, we have no mercy in, the, in those cases because uh, we are bound by rules. So this 10 to the power minus 3 is there. And here also, this 10 to the power minus 3 has to be used. The values like this. Uh, like this uh, so so I have expressed the uh, error like this so this was a 0 0.00487 something something so I expressed the error or uncertainty in 2SF so it is 0 0.004949 the uncertainty starts from the third digit after decimal so that's why I wrote this quantity up to the third digit after decimal from third digit after decimal till till third digit after decimal so it's like this now in the next question we have got determine the y-intercept of the best uh, best fit line so i selected a certain random point here in the graph so what i did was for ease uh, i selected this point here this point itself these points itself so the coordinates have been used like that so xb yb is uh, best line for best line is this and uh, x worst y worst is this I got the intercept so again uh, it has been expressed in terms of uh, we have got many SF here I expressed that in 2SF and then I expressed this quantity uh, quantity up to uh, up to the first place after decimal because the error starts from first place after decimal so let us compare these two here these two quantities one is this one is this and the other is this the other is this so in both cases in both cases we have got so in both of these cases we have got so let me fold it like this let me fold it like this so in both cases we have uncertain in 2SF 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 but DPs are different so it starts from the first DP then second DP third DP then fourth DP uh, since error starts from the uh, first DP of decimal I have written the quantity up to first decimal first place after decimal since the error starts from the third digit after decimal, I have written the quantity up to third digit after decimal. So from third till third, from first till first. So that's the rule. Now, uh, in the almost the last questions I have got, use your answers in A, uh, C3, and uh, CIV to find the values of A and Q. Include an appropriate unit for uh, Q. So one thing that I have to take here is uh, I have used all these ten uh, powers of ten here. I did not forget those things. So here, in order to find uh, the value of Q, let us first remember 
this equation this equation gradient m is equal to 4 pi epsilon naught by q so i use this uh, equation here this equation here gradient m is equal to 4 pi epsilon naught by q so reverse here q equal this much so 4 pi into the value is given here and i used uh, the value of m the value of m from uh, some uh, previous number m and i use the full value here so full value i didn't use the refined value here so give me this and uh, since uh, no errors have been told i decided to use 3sf here so 3sf and the unit for charge will be equal to will be equal to uh, q equal to uh, since uh, we know that this is charge uh, it is in it should be coulomb coulomb actually so i wrote here coulomb then uh, we need to find the value of a so for that let me go for the intercepts so intercept equal to 4 by epsilon a by q a by q i use that i use that here then uh, i i re re uh, grouped it like uh, 4 by epsilon by q then a this whole thing is equal to gradient which is just found so a equal to c by m so i use the values and got like this and uh, since uh, nothing has been said i decided to use uh, uh, three uh, i decided to use uh, uh, uses use um, uh, 3sf and uh, the value here is so yeah so i made a mistake here so this is a uh, 0, 0 it should be 0 uh, 0 point zero so let me write it like this so um, i made a mistake ultimately so 0 0.0891 meters so now the last is the percentage uncertainty so since we have got to a equal to c by m so the percent uncertainty in a should be equal to uh, sum of percent uncertainties of c and m so it should be equal to delta a by a equal to delta c by c plus delta by m into 100 so delta c is here this is delta c delta c here look at the quantities and c is here uh, c best is here plus uh, the grain is uh, 8.246 8.2456 uh, actually i i just wrote uh, this thing here actually it was five six when i dropped things here for some purpose it became uh, six so that five six one also is there I use that in calculation uh, 561 uh, then the uncertainty is equal to this much and this uncertainty is available in some previous uh, calculation that we had so this is the uncertainty here uncertainty. so 0 0.00487 I use the full value here full value so I use this also but when I adopt for some purpose it becomes like this into 100 percent is so it came to be this came to be this and uh, when we express uh, uncertainties we use only one or two sf so I use 6.8 so when I round it off here yeah, it goes like this so it should be 6.8 so that completes the uh, uh, p5 work 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 here and uh, that could uh, definitely score full marks 15 out of 15